Hello from Chinesha Channel, this is Mark Jose. Today I'll be showing you a very cool flashlight right here. Now this guy is really cool because it's one of, it's going to be and it's already one of my favorite flashlights that I want to glue a mag, mag, magnet on it. It's so crazy cool. Look at that. This is small, compact and powerful. Look at the bulbs. Whoa, LED. Wow, so many LEDs. <laughs> Seriously, you know this guy. When I look at it, I, I, it just reminds me of those, uh, the, 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 you know, the cheapos uh, on eBay with the, all the fake lumens and stuff. But this is not that kind of stuff. This is legit. Okay, this is really good. Now this thing is from DQGs and it's called the Tiny uh, Twenty Six Six Fifty, which is the battery type. Okay, so. This thing is exactly from the same company as this guy, the DQG Tiny 4th Generation. Look at that. And I already glued a ring magnet on this thing. Why do you want a magnet? Because when you go to chop zombies like me right here, okay, with a sword, okay, you can always have this embedded on the blade itself. And, you know, you can always have dual action. <laughs> okay, so anyway, woo, look at that. Anyway, so I am going to think about gluing uh, one of these right here, okay, maybe a bigger magnet and so that it can stick. Now this one is really cool. Um, okay, first thing first, how many lumens? 2,500 lumens. Now that reminds me of my, one of my favorite uh, these days, which is the Chorus G20 that claims to be 3,000 lumens-ish. Okay, so... Many people argued or, or uh, debate whatever about this thing. Uh, the Claris is not really 3,000-ish lumens at its claim. Well, uh, who cares? A <laughs> little bit different is not a problem, but it, it's bright, okay? That's the fact. It's bright and it's scary, and it's, it's brighter than my 2,000-ish lumen. Good enough. Now, this guy is 2,000-ish... Uh, 2,500 lumens at its claim. Not sure if it's really legit kind of lumen, but it feels right to me when I click it. Okay, now double click to get. You see, you see what I mean, right? This is, this is not a you know, 1,000 lumen pretend to be, to be uh, 3,000 ish. Wow, this is so bright. Look at that. Okay, enough said. I guess we all understand, right? <laughs> There's no need to promote or advertise, you know, look at that. Look. Okay, this is the moonlight mode. And you see, the the the, the moonlight mode or the firefly mode is so um so dim. Okay, it's so useful. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. This is the lowest mode and I can look right into it. You see my eyes? Okay. I can look right into it without any issues. Look at that. Okay, so you can be, ah, uh, you know, checking out body parts and stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is good. It it has a very nice uh, floody beam, okay, and also a very, um, very, very nice low mode, okay, and a super instant turbo like that, okay, if you accidentally hold on to the button too much or too long, okay, it will boom and goes right like that, so look at that, okay, wow so crazy bright now I got a problem with this kind of setup and that is <laughs> it's so bright okay and that is if I am used to using um, through night's flashlight okay you will have issues with the thing because <laughs> because it's like okay the, the through night when you hold onto that one button for more than uh, two or three seconds okay you get the firefly mode that lowest ultra low mode and you won't have any surprises. Now this guy, you do the same thing and it goes to the super mega turbo mode that blinds you out of the blue. So <laughs> you got to, you know, learn how to use this thing and stick to it or something, okay? Now this is powered by a uh, 26650 battery, which I got right here. It's a very sexy lumen top battery right here. Love that, 5,000 mAh. Okay. The inside, okay, you can see from here, not sure if you can see it, but inside uh, you can see a little brass or gold plated thingy with foam and right here there's no spring, it's a piece of uh, 
circle foam with, with a center cut out. So it reduces all the uh, unnecessary length or something like that, okay? So it, it's pretty good. And it's supposed to be like the smallest possible uh, powerful flashlight for you. Now screwing this thing on, I got no problem and there's no rough spot or anything on the thread. Okay, everything feels right. Now there... Uh, okay. Now this lens, I'm I am not sure if I can see any like special coating or whatever, but between the lens, okay, when you feel with your hand, it feels like there's a little texture uh, right here that diffuses the beam even more. I'm not sure if that is like a bunch of small lenses or they are actually a one big lens with texture in between them, but yeah. But then one thing to note is uh, that there's glow in the dark paint or glow in the dark whatever it is. Uh, inside the uh, little reflectors so uh, that might be from the o-ring okay but not sure is it the o-ring or the reflectors but yeah there is glow-in-the-dark stuff in there okay so when you turn on the light and then um, for like you know two seconds or so it powers up that glow-in-the-dark feature okay so when light off you can see the light uh, glowing kind of bluish greenish color at night and that's pretty cool now last night I was trying to uh, use this before sleeping just to you know try how how it looks and actually that glow in the dark stayed glowing for quite a long time so that's pretty good and surprising as well um, that is like a you know extra some extra feature um, which can be useful for camping or something like that when you have the thing around and you want to you know search for it in the dark something like that that just adds a little bit more chance of finding your flashlight in the dark sometimes so a little bit of glow will help um, also if you you see, if I'm using this like that at night, okay, and then suddenly my battery ran out or something, you know, at least, you know, there's a little bit of glow and people can, you know, your partner can see this, oh, right here, okay, so that, that's one thing. Um, another thing I really like about this light is that it has a very nice vivid texture all around it, and it's so simple, it looks like a, like a through night kind of design, it's so simple, one button and nothing more. Right here you have your um, lanyard loop hole which is very easy to access it's right here see it's very big and easy to access but I don't even see why you need a lanyard on this thing um, anyway there's no clip okay I don't see any clip but this one got a clip uh, so yeah one plus for this guy <laughs> but they really look like brothers when they're uh, beside each other really cool look at that they look really alike you see even the uh, head of it okay similar design very cool and I have uh, been torturing these DQG lights uh, for a while. They all stand up well, um, like drops and stuff like that. They, they do well. I have the DQG, um, the tiny pentan light, and they, they all work fine after a while. So I will say that their uh, quality is good. And, um, well, I'm not going to, like, really abuse them as, you know, people doing fire, boiling, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is too much, but... I will say that this is good. Um, it's a surprising light. Now, I know all of you want to see how this guy, the car is G20 compared with this thing. So let's try it out right here before we go out, okay? Okay, so this is the car G20. Highest mode, okay? Look, you can still see the blackish uh, color around my frame, right? Okay. Now let's shut this off. Now, this is totally burnout, okay? Uh, vis visually, I will say this is brighter than the car G20. Wow, holy. Okay. Oops. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure what to say, but... Uh, well, the, the car G20 is... It's bluish, okay, in color. It's uh, whiter, cooler. Now this guy is not as white. Um, it's a neutral, very comfortable, uh, yellowish tone. And it's fluddier. It looks um, brighter to my eyes. And I don't know what to say. It's, it's really amazing. And this is not expensive. It's under 100 bucks. 
<laughs> what do you expect? But the Chorus G20 comes with a nice battery. Now this guy, you need to buy your own battery, okay? So that's the biggest issue with uh, these lights. Now, 26650, that's a big problem, okay? Because sometimes you don't have that kind of battery if you're used to like uh, AA, AAA, uh, or even the 18650, you know, that kind of stuff. You don't have a charger for this, so something a little bit more to buy, okay? But I'm sure that this thing will work with the button or no non-button top cell. So you can basically, yeah, this one is a no, not a button top too. This is flat and it works pretty well. So I would say that, um, well, if you like something stunning, okay, like this guy, it's pretty good. For sure, it will stun and shock you. But, ooh, let me try to go crazy clicking and see what happened. Nothing happened. Crazy click. <laughs> okay, so only double click to get this highest mode. And it's super insane. Look. Okay. So, I will say for some... Uh, okay, so this guy don't have a stroke. Okay. Oh, well. I was trying to fiddle and see if I have a stroke mode back. It seems like not. Anyway, um, I will say that this guy is stunning for its size, okay? Its size is, wow, look. Car G20 compared to this thing, okay? So it's small, it's, it fits in your pocket and it's crazy bright. Um, is it hot? Well, maybe you can say it's hot if you use it on the highest mode, of course, but not so bad. Uh, it's handleable. Okay, so let's go out and check out the thing and see how it does in the dark outside. Okay guys, so there's the light. And today is a bit windy, so bear with the wind noise somehow. So let's turn the thing on and see how it looks. Wow! As you can see, this is a very floody beam. And this, like while you hold on to the uh, switch, it's actually turning, like switching, uh, swapping between the mode quite fast. And then up to a certain point, it goes like, I don't know, it just stopped uh, cycling for a while and then it keeps going again. Anyway, so you can pretty much see that there's not much uh, hot spot. Wow, look at that. That's the turbo mode and that's pretty insane. Look. Okay, so wow. See, big difference, right? <laughs> so yeah, let's change to the moonlight mode, okay? If we're going to go down here and it's all pitch black, I think it should be fine, you know, going down like this. But uh oops okay switch now that's the i think that's the medium and it's quite bright it's a big step up from the uh, moonlight mode okay and then the high mode now the high mode is of course you can even see the end of that uh, uh hallway or corridor whatever you say okay that path <laughs> okay you can even see it lit up the fence right there okay wow Okay, so now let's take a look with this pointing up the sky. Look at those apartments. <laughs> okay, so you got a nice, uh, powerful, and stunning throw as well as a good uh, flood right here. Okay, this is not supposed to be a throw light, but wow, amazing! Look at that power, right? Now, I know you guys want to really check out how this does. By the way, glow in the dark, see? Okay, it's so cold here, but I'm going to show you how it does against my uh, other light that is very alike. So just a minute, let me pick that thing up. And there goes the Claris. Where's my Claris? Okay, Claris G20. As you can see, the Claris G20 is a little bit more floody in general okay now i'm on the turbo mode already look okay and that the other one is definitely a little bit more uh brighter to my eyes for sure look this is like okay it's a it's white but it's it doesn't throw as far from what i'm seeing look okay it's not as uh, far throwing compared to the other one and the chorus gives you a little bit stronger, uh, more lumens on the uh, more lumens on the low mode. Okay, 
so yeah there you go that's how the light looks and check this out again oops double click you see it's indeed brighter than the Cara G20 and it's pretty amazing okay I gotta stop here it's so windy and cold so we will see you next time and go back to the lab right now okay guys so I'm sure that you guys all seen how cool this is and we're going to like stop here so remember if you want one of these remember to buy batteries okay <laughs> buy batteries and the charger for it because you know you, you need some good batteries to power up these light for the best uh, best lumen output so don't, don't go for the super cheapo ones because they don't give you the highest output so this guy I put in a lumen top battery and it's totally rocks so buy batteries get one of these light and shock your friends <laughs> Okay, we'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe and like, support us on Patreon. Bye-bye!